When assessing the state of a given aircraft manufacturer's order and delivery books, the term whitetail is one that you sometimes come across. Such planes are not typically a good sign for a plane maker, particularly amid the present challenging climate. But what exactly does the term whitetail mean? Let's take a closer look and find out. Simply put, the phrase whitetail refers to planes that are complete and ready to fly, but don't have a customer to go to. These aircraft don't wear a livery owing to having no customer, leaving them with white tails, hence their name. This paradox can arise for several reasons. For example, a manufacturer might build a given aircraft despite not having a customer in order to retain its production rate. However, this is less often the case, as long before final assembly takes place, each part is usually already designated for a specific customer. Thus, the other possibility is that the airline or other aircraft customer might cancel its order for particular aircraft with the planes already on the production line. According to Reuters, the Boeing 737 MAX groundings also left the US plane maker with as many as 200 white tails. This came about as airlines cancelled their MAX orders, with the groundings leaving Boeing unable to deliver them elsewhere. This resulted in a significant backlog of undelivered and unwanted next-generation narrow bodies. Despite the aforementioned masses of unwanted Boeing aircraft brought about by the MAX groundings, the US plane maker is recovering well. As it looks to recover from the double blow of the groundings and the coronavirus pandemic, it has managed to offload many of its undelivered planes. Of course, these weren't just 737 MAX aircraft. Indeed, as Simple Flying reported previously, it also briefly had four 7478 whitetails on its hands. The manufacturing juggernaut also went months without delivering any 787 Dreamliners due to a series of production issues. However, Boeing got itself to a place where it could say that it was able to almost completely clear its backlog. Meanwhile, rival plane maker Airbus reported in July that the firm no longer had any whitetails on its hands. This was an encouraging sign for the company as it continues to recover from the devastation of 2020. Offloading whitetail aircraft requires customers for the previously unwanted planes. For example, Boeing reportedly approached Delta last year in an attempt to resell its cancelled MAX orders. One airline that has been keen to cash in on the surplus of available 737 MAX jets is Dallas-based ultra-low-cost carrier and existing MAX operator Southwest Airlines. As early as November last year, it became apparent that the budget carrier was intending to acquire up to 30 of these undelivered aircraft. However, according to Mentor Pilot, these would not have been additional acquisitions, but rather they would replace Southwest's existing orders, allowing the carrier to receive the same amount of maxes sooner. Did you know about whitetail aircraft and what the term meant? Share your thoughts and experiences with us by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.